Oh, thank you, God, for the unction of the Holy One. We know all things. The Holy Spirit in us, Father. We thank you, God, that you have made us the light and the salt of this earth, Lord. We can go around proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ to the lost, to the broken, Lord. Those are the people you're reaching, Father. You don't want us to stay in that place, but to come out, Father, with rejoicing. Thank you for a brand new day, Jesus, for starting new things, turning our sorrow into gladness, turning every morning into joy. Thank you, Jesus, when we were dead, you made us alive, and we remember that, Lord. We remember, Father, how you brought us from darkness to light. We thank you, God, for those who don't know you, Lord. We thank you that you're revealing yourself to them. You're putting a new song in their spirit, removing those places that have been hurt, broken, and shameful. Jesus, we thank you that only joy and peace comes from you, Lord. Thank you, God, that you made us bold and more than conquerors in this world. We can stand, Father, as overcomers because faith is the victory that overcomes the world. Oh, Father in heaven, we worship you. Lord, because you are the great I am, the bright and morning star. You are the Lord that never changes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you for the spirit of revelation. Thank you for opening the eyes of your people, Lord. How to deal with situations, wisdom and instruction that comes from you. Your wisdom is peaceable, it's pure, it's of good report. We receive your wisdom. We receive your wisdom and counsel. We choose to wait on you, God. You strengthen our hearts. If we had not believed, we would not see the goodness of the Lord. But Lord, we choose to be believers of the goodness of you, God. We declare, Father, we declare that Christ is magnified in our body. It's no longer the old person, Lord. We are crucified with Christ. It's not I that lives, Christ in us. Thank you, God, for revealing the new man, Father, enabling your people to walk according to the new man. Thank you for new mercies, Father. Thank you, Lord. Your mercies are new every morning. And we open our hearts every day to receive those new mercies, Father. Amen. It's a brand new day. The Lord's mercies are new every morning and His faithfulness and His joy is all new every day when we wake up to a brand new day. We're so glad that you've tuned in online as well today through YouTube or Facebook, Believers Fellowship. And we believe that today you will be ministered to as we praise and worship the Lord. And the joy of the Lord is that it strengthen your heart and Turn away all that sorrow and that mourning and give you a spirit of gladness. And so we believe that you can be healed in your body, physically, mentally, whatever it might be. That the Holy Spirit in this place, He is working. And Jesus is our healer and believe that He can heal you and that you can walk free again. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. The Lord is doing new things in our lives. He's doing new and amazing things. Father, we decree and we believe it, Father. We thank you for the new mercies. You're turning our sorrow into joy. Amen. And we look to you, Father, this day, this morning, but not only this time, but Lord, every day we believe in sorrow, Father, you're going to leap with joy on the inside of us. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord and thank him for this brand new day that he has given us. He's going to turn every sorrow into gladness. And he gives joy. The Bible says that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Now let's believe that joy is bubbling up in you. Again, maybe you've lost your joy, but you can get the joy back in the presence of the Lord. There is fullness of joy. Amen. Let's worship the Lord. It's a brand new day.
this brand new day All my sins are washed away I have been forgiven Oh Jesus Walking in the light of life Now I live to glory
bless you, God. We thank you for the brand new things you're doing, Jesus. Oh, we thank you, God. We speak it forth. We speak it, Lord. Your mercies are new every morning. Thank you, God, for all things have passed away and all things have become new. Thank you, Lord. You are a refuge and you are our strength. Very present help in time of need, Jesus.
just take a moment and worship him. Thank him all for the times that he has protected you. You think about the things that God has protected us from. Through salvation, we have received the gift of protection. God has protected us and kept us safe. There are many things you don't know what God has just protected you and saved you from. He has promised to be your refuge. He has promised to be your strength. A very present help in time of need. Sometimes we don't know the way he's working and protecting us. But he is. His angels are all around us. They're protecting us and keeping us safe from all evil. What a blessing to know that wherever we go, that God's protection is around us. To know that God's angels are surrounding us and keeping us safe from all kinds of evil. Lord, we thank you. We just want to thank you for being our refuge. Lord, these are not just words, Father, but these are things that you are working in our lives. You're giving us strength. You're our refuge. And Lord, we want to thank you for your protection in this world, Father. The angels that surround us keep us from all evil, Father. Thank you for being our refuge. Thank you for being our strength. A very present help in time of need. We're so thankful, Lord, that we can run to you, the throne of grace, and find grace. As Hebrews 4.12 says, that we can come boldly to that throne of grace. He's never too busy when you come to him. And he says, I'm very present when you need help. He's a very present help. More than you know, he's your help. Thank you, God. A strong wall, that's who you are. That's who you are, Jesus. Lord, you are Rejoice in the shadow of your wings. Yes, I do. Lord, you are a strong wall to me. And I rejoice in the shadow of your wings. Yes, I do. For you have said in your word to trust in you. Thank you. 
what you do I will keep my mind and stay it on Oh, one more time, just say those words I will keep my mind and stay it on you Yes, Lord, we keep our minds on you, Jesus I'm going to sing this simple song Yield yourself to the Holy Spirit You know, it's so important to follow those leadings of the Spirit because you never know how He's sometimes we don't see the distance but the Holy Spirit, He does and when He speaks to us it's only for our good and for our protection He only has good in store for us you know the scripture says in Romans 6.13 He says to yield your members or every part of your body yield it unto God it's no longer about my life or about what I want because His plan is so much better. And when we say, Lord, I'm giving my hands to you, I'm giving my entire body to you, that's yielding yourself. In whatever situation it might be, when you say, God, I'm going to give my mind to you, I'm giving my hands to you, my feet to you. It's not about what I want to do because we no longer belong to ourselves. We belong to Jesus. And He's not a controlling God. He's a God of love. But when we yield ourselves to Him, we see how, how so much more we can be led and be fruitful in our lives. Because sometimes the flesh, when it wants to do things, you don't know how far it can go. It might feel good today, it might feel bad tomorrow. But when you follow the leading of the Spirit, He's going to keep you at peace all the time. You're going to have joy inside of you. So it's so important. This song is a declaration to yield ourselves. To say, Lord, I'm going to follow those leadings. When he speaks in such a still, small voice. And as we sing this song, just say, Father, I'm going to yield myself to you. Maybe if you've turned away from God, you've gone away from him, you can come back to him and say, Lord, I'm going to start directing my life by your yielding. I'm going to yield myself to the Holy Spirit. Simple song, yield yourself. I will yield myself to the Holy Spirit. Yield myself to the unction of God. Yield myself. To the Holy Spirit, let Him work inside. Yield yourself to the Holy Spirit. Yield yourself to the unction of God. Yield yourself.
of the Lord. seen the end from the beginning. As you said in Isaiah, you declare things that are from the end to the beginning. And Father, we dedicate our hands and every part of our body belongs to you, Jesus. It's not our life anymore, Father. Our life is dead. The old man is dead. And now, Jesus, you are living through us. You are magnified in our body. Let's say this declaration as a prayer of surrender and a prayer of decreeing that we are going to yield ourselves to the Lord. So say with me, Father God, I choose to yield myself to you. I am crucified with Christ. It's no longer I that lives, but you, Christ, are living in me. Because I am in Christ Jesus, I am a new creation. All things are passed away. All things have become new. Father, I come to you boldly. I receive help. I receive the grace from your presence in time of need. I'm so thankful to you that you never leave my side. You're always with me, Father. 
Thank you for being a friend to me. Thank you for being my guide. Thank you for showing me things to come. Thank you for being my comforter. Thank you for being my comforter. I receive all the goodness from your presence, O Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated.